Hello there. Today I want to just do a quick unboxing of this Space Marine board game and, you know, just some of my thoughts on, you know, what this product really is and who it's for. Um, and of course, what I find very interesting about this is that this is a board game based off of a video game based off of the tabletop game, Warhammer 40k. So I, I find that weirdly meta. Um, but you can get this at Target. Uh, it's U.S. only, uh, at least for now. I, Games Workshop hasn't said that they're going to release it uh, anywhere else. But you can get it at Target. And so the novelty of being able to go into a non-hobby store and buy something that's Warhammer, I, I just couldn't resist. And this was actually a pretty good price. It is $40. And the contents within, um, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, in a moment, we'll open this up, but the fact that it has an exclusive Captain Titus and 20 Gaunts uh, with two of the Ripper Swarms, I mean, for $40, that's about the price of just one of these, uh, you know, characters by themselves or a 10-man box. So essentially, this is, the miniatures alone, this is about $100, uh, and you can get it at Target for $40. So it's a good deal, but let's go ahead and get into the box itself. And I've actually peeked in, into this before. I've already opened it and kind of just scrolled through the book. So I'll kind of go over the rules in just a minute. You've got your game tile, which I haven't quite opened that up to see how big that is. But uh, this was one of the things that was appealing to me. Because I like to play little small skirmish games, not like full, full, um, I don't want to say kill team sized. Um, well, it is kill team sized, but I use the official, the regular sized um, 40K rules. And then here is your sprue for Titus. What I find interesting is that the, the sprue on this is actually rounded, which is something I've only seen on very, very old Warhammer miniatures, because new ones have this more kind of squared edge around the sprue, so I thought that was very interesting. But uh, then there's all your 20 gaunts. I believe this is a pack of dice. Yep, there's your dice. You've got all your um, bases. I think there's a. Let me pull this out here. Yeah, you've got our, our measuring stick there. And on the bottom of this. So on the bottom of this, you kind of have to cut these out yourself, uh, but those are your objective markers and wound counters. I'm probably just going to leave this as is because I've got plenty of, of both wound counters. I actually use dice normally, and I've got plenty of objectives. But that's kind of the contents of the box. And now I want to get into my thoughts on, you know, what this box is for. You know, who, who is this for? Who's this marketed for? And, you know, why does it exist, basically? So on the surface, this looks like just a way to basically entice people who might not be super familiar with the Warhammer property and, and the tabletop games. Maybe they got introduced to the IP through the video game. And, and at first, that's what I thought this was basically for. This is anyone who's played the video game. We've got the Space Marine 2 is going to be coming out later this year. Um, and anyone who likes the video game might kind of see this and be like, oh, cool, you know, there's a, there's a board game based on this. Um, they get it. And this is basically the rules for this. I'm going to call, they're basically dumbed down Warhammer. Like, very dumbed down. Uh, for example, uh, in here you've got your uh, your rules for your um, for for Titus and the Termagants, and they just have like rolls to attack and save. You you don't actually wound models. Uh, you don't have to hit and wound. It's one attack roll for both, um, which is kind of nice. It's it's an uh, they've got several objectives. Now let me actually start from the beginning. Uh, so of course, you got your introduction. You got your instructions. Some lore. How to play, and then, you know, the next steps, of course, that's just advertising on the back, you know, what you want to add to this collection. But uh, it's pretty it's pretty neat. You know, they set up the, the board that way. But what I think is odd about this is I'm not, I mean, I still am trying to struggle to figure out who this is actually for. Obviously, it, it should be like a marketing to try to get uh, people who aren't familiar with the tabletop game to buy this, but it's in the board game section at Target. And I feel like if you were going to, to get this box, and you just see this on the shelf, and you look at the back, 
you're thinking, oh, well, that's cool. Those are really detailed game pieces. But it's very, very, very tiny letters uh, right there that say unpainted miniatures. And I feel like someone who is not really initiated with the, this kinds of game might buy this, open the box, and be like, why are these unpainted gray plastic? And the fact that you have to get tools. Um, so I feel like that's kind of a downside to this. Um, I feel like it's more going to discourage most people. And I feel like the bulk of sales of this are actually going to be people like me who already know about this game, know that this is a great deal, and just go buy it for that. So they're not really marketing to new players. But I could be wrong. That's just my thoughts. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and review of this and just some of my opinions. Uh, even though I don't know if this is really making the mark for getting new players involved, I still think it's a great deal. And... Uh, Still seem to be plenty on the shelves at Target's near me, so if you're interested, check it out, and may the force be with you.